just like that we are in Greenland. Amazing little runway here on the dirt and this is now the beginning of a sailing expedition which I'm very excited to be a part of. Council Point, one of the most remote airports in the world, and we're here to sail. Here in Constable Point, and we've just walked down to the water. Now we are boarding the ship. It's quite exciting. We have three ships, all from North Sailing, and we are about to start a seven day expedition into Skorsbysund, which is the biggest fjord on the earth. What is going on? <laughs> it's very special. It is really special. You got 54 people from around the world all coming together to do something really unique. I mean, even for you, this is the first time you got this unique situation. Yeah, all it's three amazing. boats at once. And I'm buzzing right now because I shouldn't really be here right now. And literally my original plan was probably to watch like some shitty reality show <laughs> and make YouTube videos. And now we're here, which is amazing. into Itukotomit. It's nice to be back here and it is weird to me that it is only a few hundred kilometers from my home yet I'm now in Greenland and there has been some fun little moments with the sled dog puppies. They took Chris's camera. I was trying to get this like dramatic shot. I look over and all the other people are like, yo, 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 your camera! I look and the dog has the whole camera holding it by the microphone because it thought it was like a toy. It starts running off with it. films this year in both Antarctica and here in the Arctic so I needed to bring the same camera that I used for those for continuation of the same vibe that means that I had to bring the Ronin then needed the photo gear now I just have way too much gear Made it to our first stop, the Sun Glacier. Quite amazing to have come here by wind power and be experiencing a very swiftly changing environment that not many people on the planet have actually seen. To be so close to it is very, very powerful. We've just finished an absolutely insane session here at the Sun Glacier, we witnessed some pretty crazy snow avalanches, or shall I say ice avalanches, which I got my drone rather close to. I was documenting the flow as it made its way down to the water. It's 
now getting quite dark and we're just getting our final shots before we head in. What an amazing first day. a very bright day today so not a lot of photography so far been great to film though with the circular polarizers but we're gonna get a higher vantage point go up the mast and see what the view is like just seen our first big iceberg up close Seeing the colour underwater and knowing that you're only seeing 10% of the total volume. It's kind of mind-blowing how massive they can be. So after three years, made it back to the Rad Island and brought all my drone batteries. Wow, what an insane environment. Basically the icebergs get grounded as the depth of the fjord gets less and less. They get stuck here. These are some gigantic icebergs. My goal here since we landed on the aeroplane even has been to create some really long three to four minute shots flying through the entire area with the drone and to build some kind of little screensaver archive collection. So that went pretty well this afternoon except the light is very harsh so hopefully tonight we can go and do some more. I've been waiting for. The mission so far today has been to get the long lens and zoom in on the mountain peaks and continue a series that I've been building for the last three to four years. Which I can't tell you about yet but I would love to share very soon. We've managed to come very close to one glacier outlet as well as three to four icebergs that have all had very unique features. One of which we've never seen before which is the donut iceberg. 
and realized that the silt coming out from the glacier looked really amazing, washed up as we moved past it on the boat. So I got right above us and got a bunch of bird's eye view photos as it swelled up in the engines. final morning here in Greenland and we have just woken up next to a very interesting iceberg with an arch in it and we're all very much lost for words as like every other day. The plan is to set up a composition from within the iceberg looking back out to the boats.